Hey there, everybody. Uh, good to be with you again uh, in uh, your home or wherever you guys are meeting as a group. Um, so encouraged that you're continuing to meet, and I really hope that you've been continued to be blessed through the study of this amazing letter um, of 2 Timothy. And we're nearing the end of this series. Um, you have two mess- we have two messages left, um, the one that you just heard on Sunday, and then one more this coming weekend. And uh, I want to, before we look at the recap of this, um, the text that was preached, I want to encourage your group um, to consider... Um, continuing through the Christmas series. As I mentioned, we're going to be looking at the book of Isaiah really briefly as it relates to um, the birth of Christ, um, the one who would take away the sins of the world. So I I know Christmas season is busy and your group may want to take a little breather, but if you don't, um, I will continue to provide uh, the sermon recaps and uh, studies uh, questions uh, for that series if that is of interest to you. Okay, in 2 Timothy chapter 4, the the text uh, that was preached and the lesson you're going to be working through together as a group, um, verses 1 to 8, these are the last uh, real words of instruction that Paul ever wrote. And he wrote it to Timothy, and usually uh, last words are lasting words. They're sometimes the most important words that you could ever communicate. Well, this is the situation for Paul is he's written this last letter that he would ever write in this last section of this letter that he would ever write. He reminds Timothy that he is in front of, he stands before God and Jesus Christ. And as he does, um, he is to do one thing, preach the word. The word, of course, is the scriptures. It's the Bible. He is to do this, whether it's a flourishing season or not. Do this in season and out of season. And as he preaches, he is to uh, reprove, he's to rebuke, he uh, is to exhort and do so uh, in a spirit of gentleness uh, and a kind of patience in teaching with people. Um, And as we learned, it's because the time will come, the time came of a sort of of out-of-season experience in which the preaching of the word was no longer popular because people were gathering around them uh, teachers to um, itch their ears. And this metaphor of itching, itching their ears Uh, was a metaphor for their passions. Like they were pursuing their passions and they gathered around them everybody that they could to support that and validate that. And as for Timothy, he is to be different. He's to be a man of the book and to preach the word. And you know, that's what we are about here by God's grace um, as a church. We want to be word people, um, to preach the word, to teach ourselves the word, to be sober-minded, to endure suffering, fulfill our ministry, Um, fulfill your ministry. Each of you listening um, in your group right now, you have a ministry to fulfill, and that has to be evolved and be rooted in the word of God. And Paul says to Timothy, do this, preach the word. Don't swerve to the right or to the left of the word of God. Preach it. Be ready all the time. And he lands the plane and he says, Timothy, in effect, I'm not going to be able to do it anymore because the Lord has taken me home. I'm being poured out already. The time of my departure to to go and be with Christ has come. So it's as if he says to Timothy, carry this mantle, preach the word, preach the word. As you guys discuss this in your group, um, resolve as a group to be a group that studies the word. Let's be a church that studies the word, believes what it says and lives it out. That is on the path to fulfilling the ministry that God has called us 
all too, to go into all the world, proclaim the gospel, and make disciples of all the nations. Love you all, enjoy your study, and we'll see you soon. God bless.